for some cabin yellow mixed with some raw sienna for the trousers. Wow. Dry brush marks coming down. A little bit of something dull, I'm going to go for a little bit of burnt umber. Just add that in here and there. Gives it creases and things, but we're putting the definite creases in a little bit later. Something dark there. Oh, that's great. And I think we go also with the mauve. Or do we? No, I'm going for cobalt blue for his shirt because otherwise we're going to have mauve blue, mauve blue, mauve. So I think we need to not do that. That it look like a chessboard. So if we go for the cobalt blue for any of the sort of shapes in the white, that's that. just look at the shapes. Don't make it complicated. This is so easy, you're just looking at shapes. Put the definites in in a minute. Now that isn't pure white, there is a hint of colour on there, so just rinse that in. A little bit darker here. It's quite white around there. And then we have that lovely, lovely red jacket. Well that is definitely a cadmin red and he's also got a band of that on his hat so let's just whilst that's on our brush just pop that round and then into the that jacket whoa this is just such fun to paint and we can go over that with the strap in a while oh that's just working so well and then the cape has got it's a bit darker, it's more burgundy. So let's go for that alizarine crimson. The light's hitting it sort of on that front bit. There's a bit of light hitting that. And then some light coming through and then the bit underneath is really dark. Now I think we're darkening that with a mauve. So the intense violet mixed in with the alizarin crimson should get it dark. And then... And that's quite dark here. And you can feel the movement, can't you? So pleased with this. Um, I mean, look, he needs some skin tone, so our light red. Let's get rid of the other red. He could look a bit drunk, couldn't he, if he was purple? That's oh, all down. That's that face. And so we're doing that a little bit darker than it actually is. And then he's got some dark hair, which we might as well put in uh, brushing blue, sepia. It's a bit wispy. So we don't want it to be too precise. 
the hat can go in in a minute. That's quite dark here, so just pop that dark in whilst we've got it. And then it turns into brown, so brown amber is fine for the ends of those shoes. A little pointy bit of some sepia. Might need to tidy that up in a while. Right, the bags are sort of all quite dark colours and there's a bit of cape around his neck I've not done so let's go back to the alizarine crimson and pop that sort of ties up there and then he's got some raw sienna sort of neck thing filling up that space and let's use I think sepia for these bags the leather bags of some sort. We can put the dark shapes in in a minute if we need to. That one's very dark, that's a bit darker underneath. Dark circle. He's carrying so much stuff. And that pipe is sort of a dark in the middle. Or trumpet, I'm not sure what it is to be honest. And then a little bit of alizarine crimson around the outside. And then it's raw sienna coloured. So we're sort of going through all the colours, aren't we? Colours to that. And then a little bit of the Prussian blue and sepia for that hat. And it's got a band of dark. Okay, so that needs to be dried, then we can put the definite darks in. What I'm trying to create is the movement, the atmosphere. They were walking as they were playing this medieval music and it was all really beautiful. So that's what I'm hoping, that it's going to be nice and loose, not too tight and fiddly. Let's get that dark shape down here. So I'm sort of squinting and looking for anything that's very dark on this figure. And some of those sort of shapes come away there. Better to underdo than to overdo. Bit of a dark bit there. And then into the red. Whoops. And so it's a bit of dark here, I think. Not too much. And then a little bit of, I think, cadmium red. It's tied up. And a little bit of sepia. Make a bit of definition out of what's going on around his neck. A bit more blue. I'll take that shape in. A bit darker on the bottom. And then I think some red into here. So alizarine crimson. Let's get some definite underneath bits. And the same this side, that's sort of dark there. And then some sepia. Dark behind. Yeah, I'm thinking just a little bit maybe here, but not too much. Let's buckle. And that's sort of around like that. Oh, and on the trousers. Now let's use some of the cadmin and a little bit of sepia so cabin yellow a little bit of sepia so we've got something fairly dark just squint and those dark shapes they will stand out pop them in And then a 
touch of just sepia on its own because this is very dark just there a very dark bit there yeah that's spot on now we go on to him I'm going to keep him fairly loose to start with and then we might add a few extras if we need to but the three in the front I don't want them fighting with the two behind well not literally um, right so Prussian blue sepia very light where that's hitting that lovely shiny drum on top and it gets dark underneath so thicker paint okay that's good there's a bit of green in his hat and his jacket top let's keep it like that because there's nothing green behind so we'll add some yellow and it's going lighter down one side so more water sort of here and then the other side is quite dark other than on the shoulder so just go back into the thicker paint These look really cosy, don't they? The neck things. This hat's more or less that colour. Let's stick with that. It's darker underneath. And it's quite light on top. Just add a bit more yellow, I think, into the top bit. That's good. He's lovely and loose. Yeah, we're pleased with him. Uh, a little bit of skin tone. I must get rid of the green. I don't want them looking too seasick. Okay, let's just pop in that face quickly. A bit of a neck. There's a hand there. Can't see the other hand. Right, I can see a little bit of raw sienna holding the straps that are holding the drum up. And I'm going to go for the intense violet for the shadows on his white shirt. Just a little bit of shadow there, there's not too much and something there. And his trousers are that mauve. Um, I'm a little concerned that's going to be a bit too close to that cape colour in which case we can either go for yellow is that going to be too much yellow um let's go for a paler mauve i think we'll keep it mauve but we'll just do it slightly lighter i might add a little bit more cobalt blue into that as well just to make it bluer uh, there's not much of it showing so that really doesn't matter too much i think that's good a cobalt blue strap coming down there and it's holding that and I'm a bit worried that that's disappearing so what we're going to have to no no that'll be fine because we've got a castle behind there so we can put something there um let's just do his shoes they're quite dark dark sepia there's one that's all coming there And with something dark, just do a little bit of this braiding that's going on on the drum. But I don't want to do too much. And then that sort of comes through there. Well, I think I'll put the shadow in next to anchor them down, and then we'll work out how much of the castle that we need to do. So. Let's just use some of the mauve, the intense violet, that's a good shadow colour. Don't want to add too many different colours to it. So against that yellow, the raw sienna background, I think that will work quite nicely. And we can add in you know, where that's reflecting down a little bit of the blue. You can always add in a bit of reflective colour. And then pop these in. Yeah, I just 
just sits them down quite nicely. I've got a few funny things that have happened where the water's gone up from this. I think what I would do is just with a little bit of burnt sumber, I'm just going to put a few stones. Well, that takes your eye away from that and a little bit of cobalt blue too. Well, that just distracts you. Right, now with our cobalt blue, we're going to look at the castle. And it's really just rip presenting what's behind and where this is at Fort Lat in Brittany. It was beautiful right by the sea, an amazing place. That's all of Brittany is. I just love Brittany. Right, cobalt blue, light red will be a very good castle colour. And I just sort of don't want to do too much, just keep it quite light. Get some of these shapes in here. That will come down to about there, which will then show up. Ah. Better to understate than overstate. Some sort of rock thing coming on here. And then, yeah, it was this is quite an important bit, but it was a bit difficult to work out the best place to put it, but that will be fine there. And then drop down to this little bit it's sort of on the edge of the cliff and then just add a little bit more light red into the mix anything that's slightly darker just bleed that in that's a bit of a roof there we really don't want too much detail just have that a little bit darker there. Just tidy up the shoulder. And just a tiny little dot of light red and cobalt blue just for that window there. A few turrets. Chimney. So if you know Fort Lat, then you'd start to recognise some of that. That's probably spot on. That's going to dry a little bit lighter than I've done it. Um, I really hope you try this one because it is such fun to do and it will take you back in time. Enjoy.